Right, um, today I'm going to show you how to put Mac OS X in VirtualBox from scratch. Right, so first you go to your favourite internet browser and type in Hazard OS X. Go download, and then go and get the 10.6.1 and 10.6.21 torrenter. Save that. And then you can open it and then open the uh, open the torrent, and uh, it will open. And you can download as I just have looked, and uh, that's done that. But then what you do is you download VirtualBox and install that, which you can get from VirtualBox. Dot org. In the download section for your choice of system, I'm using Windows 7 here, and install that. And then go and open your Oracle virtual book and press new and press next put in OS X or Mac just put in your Mac and it will automatically change to say Mac OS X server and then put in uh, I don't know I'm using 2 gigs at my 4 gigs of RAM don't need any more it depends how much storage you have so when you dynamically give it 20 gigs and press finish and then uh, go to settings straight away. Um, go down to system. Untick the EFI. Make sure VT and AMD are checked. If not, then and if your system can't tick it, then you might not be able to do this. Then go to system. Put the video memory on 128 megs and enable for deacceleration. Then go to storage and remove that drive you just made and then make a new SATA controller with this little plus button here and add it instead yes on the IDE controller press this little um, add media appliance button and press add then go to wherever you downloaded that thing from and open that there you go so you put that in there Nah, the audio should be the same. I think the rest should be fine. Okay, there you go. Then press start. It will start to boot and it will boot your disk. Okay, press F8. And then go space hyphen V. Okay, then press enter. Now, that will load this. I'm going to put it in full screen with a control F. Just so you know exactly what I'm doing. So you just let that muck about with whatever that's mucking about. Yeah, uh, yeah, has it. Mm, I'm using English because I'm English. I'm from England. There you go. And then you go uh, utilities, disk utility. Find your virtual hard drive you made. Press and raise and erase and erase again. So that's all erased and partitioned and wait for that little bar there. Yeah, there you go. So it's a Mac OS X uh, extended terminated. We'll close that. Press continue. Agree. Make sure it's on the Mac drive. And press continue. Then press customize. There you go. Now, put in Mac OS X 10.6.2. Get a little bootloader and put in the 10.5 uh, terminal. Kernel. Let's put in the legacy kernel. Graphics kernel, put in graphic enabler, and then go. And uh, I believe that is all you have to do. Um, yep, that one, don't take that. And of course, you can install any of the bottom ones if you really want. Okay, so that's that, and then you press that. Okay, and press install. And uh, wait, it might take. You can press the red one. It might take anything from 15 minutes to to an hour. Depends on your speed of your your hardware. To begin with. Okay. So we'll come back after break when it's done. Right, and we're back, and it's just restarted itself, and it comes out of this, which you don't want it to have. So you go to the box. Devices, CD, unmount, and then restart with Control R. Ok, 
comes up with the uh, bootlegger, you either wait or press enter twice and uh, let it boot up. This might take a little while, so we might have to skip this a bit. Right, then the next screen is, um, as you can see, the Apple logo and the little twirly thing, which might also take a little while, so we'll leave this on here. Right, and now it's gone uh, grey and you've got, the, uh, got your mouse cursor. Now, I don't know if you can see two mouse cursors on this, but there is only one when you're on it. It's because of the mouse, it's because of the capturing software. Right, and here we go, welcome. Um, I'm in the United Kingdom, but wherever you are, um, British keyboard layout. Um, no, but I don't have a Mac. I don't. I do have an Apple ID, but I don't want to put money. I'm not going to register. My phone name. There you go, I'm Jamie, there you go, I'm not going to have a password. Creating your account. Connection to Apple, that don't sound too good. Don't know what they want. Hmm. Anyway, London, England, there you go. Go! Go! How oh, nice stuff is it? Right, so there you go, it's got the uh, the blue and then it'll come up the uh, people in snow leopard background. There you go. And there's find a window. And what it says your keyboard cannot be identified. Next, press the key right of your shift button. There you go. Done. And there you have it. 10.6. Not, I believe that is. Never. Everything. So. Yes, there you have it. Now, come back in our next episode where we will be showing you how to install 10.6.4 and 10 under the other sound that you need because there's no sound on this particular one. There you go, Mac Pro, 2 gigabytes, 10.6.2 with a graphics card on the back, but there is no audio. So let's see, and also we'll show you how to get this into the proper grey colour with a little little tweak. Thank you very much.